Hi people, Night Force. Let's talk about this uh, boom time again in Western Australia. Now before the last, uh, before this uh, recession happened, there was a lot of, uh, we had a, uh, a skill shortage here in uh, Western Australia. We imported a lot of uh, skilled workers from uh, other states in Australia and uh, in particular from overseas, from different countries overseas. Now, that's probably going to happen to some extent again if this gas, uh, these gas ventures uh, start up. They reckon it's going to be, they're going to need tens of thousands of uh, workers. But where are they going to get them from? Now, there's not enough in Australia they're going to import them again but I believe this time round what's going to happen I can see what's going to happen and uh, maybe uh, if you think about it uh, you might see as well these companies that are setting these things up they're going to actually import their own workers from their own countries now if it's from America or Canada or something like that they're going to bring their own workforce in and they're going to house them wherever uh, on the rig or wherever and they'll fly in and out of this country back home I can see that standing out like uh, the Eiffel Tower because of the simple fact there is not enough skilled workers in this country now if people that live in Western Australia now in particular that have worked on projects and have uh, been earning big money because of the uh, shortage of uh, skilled workers think that they're going to get the same kind of money they got last year or the year before well you better think again because if you think about what the wage rate for a skilled labourer in America is compared to here or in Canada or anywhere else in the world to, to compared to Australia they are nowhere in the ballpark. People in Australia have to get real. Companies cannot afford to keep paying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars per week, per man, and this is what's happened. This is all part and parcel of this big worldwide recession. Wages and labour. Wages and labour for companies is probably their biggest expense. Wages, superan, insurances, everything else that goes along with it. You have to understand, if you're earning $3,000 a week, you could probably say that you cost that company 5000 by the time they pay all, everything that's involved. So this is why I believe they are going to bring in their own workforce and people that think they're going to earn thousands of dollars a week, no way in the world are you. You're going to be on an average wage for an average, if you're a tradesman, okay, if you, if you think you're worth 20 bucks an hour, okay, you might be lucky if you get 20 bucks an hour. All the big money's gone. Well, it will go very shortly. So you'll be on average pay for a day's work. I mean, you know, they could probably bring somebody in from uh, Canada or America, feed them, house them, and pay them 400 to 500 bucks a week. And those people would be wrapped because they've got a job and they can feed their families back home. So that's what I'm saying. You think you're gonna earn 2,000 or 3,000 bucks a week? No way in the world. And why I believe this will happen is because we need the money. The government need the royalties off this to keep our country going. So they're actually going to force the government into letting them import their own workers because all they'll, all they'll just keep saying is there's not enough skilled tradespeople. 
not enough skilled tradespeople. It will be all contracted out, or actually won't be contracted out, the companies will do it themselves. Because the contract rate is just too high. So everybody that looks at this video, think with open minds and open your eyes to what's happening. It's not only happening in this country, it's happening everywhere. How many hundreds of thousands, how many millions are unemployed in America? And a lot of those people are skilled tradespeople, steel workers that have been laid off. You know? And that's basically what these, uh, these uh, operations need. They need steel workers, welders, whatever, border makers, uh, fitters, machinists, and stuff like that. There's millions of them sitting in, Austra in uh, America unemployed. So, think about it. That's what I believe is going to happen. So all the big money in these projects is, uh, is going to dry up and uh, yeah, the government will be okay because they'll get, uh, they'll get the royalties off these uh, projects but as far as um, anybody else, ordinary workers and stuff like that, there'll be very far and few between that earn uh, the big money that uh, was offered previously. One project will start, then another will start, another will start, and that's what will happen. They'll import their own workers because what's happened is we've just got too greedy. We've just overextended. Everybody has. And we're just demanding these outrageous wages, which is just crazy. I mean, you only have to look up north. You know, someone driving a haul truck on a mine at 120,000, 130,000 a year. I mean, that's absolutely bloody crazy. Ridiculous. For driving a bloody haul pack. Christ almighty, and, and the way the, all these uh, vehicles are designed today, a blind man can drive them. Night voice, have a think about it, night voice out. <laughs>